Slaughterhouse is a Nine Circles level, it is the best Nine Circles level, and by the end of this video, you will agree with me. Now, I know what you're thinking, but just hear me out, this will make sense. To start off, let's look at the original Nine Circles created by Zobros in 2015. The level was an instant success and spawned multitudes of remakes, Fairy Dust, Jawbreaker, all the way to the infamous Sonic Wave, which was an enormous catalyst all on its own. Nine Circles came out a whole seven years ago, so let me bring you back and give you a taste of what this period was like. Also, I'm giving away a free copy of Minecraft V7. Watch until the end of this video to find out how to enter. First of all, Nine Circles was hard. Many of you might remember Alex Payne, a super famous player back in the day. When he completed this level, he described the difficulty as hell, and it took him over 6,000 attempts, which was quite a lot for the time. The flashing wave sections definitely added a lot to this difficulty, since you could barely see your wave icon in these tight sections. We can also take a look at the sheer number of views these videos got. Zobros's original video got over a million views, and Alex Payne's video totals nearly 4 million to this day. While this doesn't nearly rival the likes of Bloodbath, it blows past Sonix's verification of Sonic Wave. Even things like Sonic Wave Infinity have fewer than a million views. This shows just how immensely impactful Nine Circles was at the time. Not to mention, also, that it's currently the fourth most downloaded level in all of Geometry Dash. And it wasn't just difficulty that drew people in, it was the style. The decoration of Nine Circles wasn't all that impressive, but it certainly was new. This flashing effect hadn't been seen in any levels in the past that I know of. And this is exactly why it spawned so many remakes. People liked what Nine Circles was doing, and they wanted to try out for themselves to see if they could put their own creative spin on it. Or maybe they just wanted a piece of the success, it's hard to say. Fairy Dust and Jawbreaker were some of the first remakes, but the level spawned revolution like we've never seen. Sonic Wave is the main level, of course, but even levels such as Cold Sweat, Sock Van Hell, and The Golden take inspiration from Nine Circles. I mean, it was the very beginning of wave-based demons. Whether or not that's a good thing, I'll leave up for debate. What isn't up for debate, though, is that you, right now, watching this video, should subscribe to my channel. Go ahead, it's free. Anyways, where does Slaughterhouse come in with this whole discussion? Well, in some ways, it has a similar rise to fame. Originally, it was an old impossible level by Iced Cave, but eventually he grew to hate his own creation, so in 2019, he started to work on a remake, which was still meant to be impossible. However, he realized that with only minor nerfs, it was possible, although still extremely difficult. And he found a verifier, Space UK, to get the level released for real. The verification was a huge deal, with Iced Cave's video surpassing 3 million views and Space UK's video passing 1 million. However, if we look back a little further in time, we can see that Ice Cave's original video about this new Slaughterhouse level passed 5 million views. This was a community-wide phenomenon, and just like Nine Circles, there was a wave of remakes. There's of course The Rock House, which is probably the most famous, Happy House by XN, Femboy House by Yours Truly, this isn't really a real one but I wanted to throw it in because it's funny, and of course an uncountable number of smaller, lesser-known remakes by other creators. And the similarities don't stop there. Most obviously, Slaughterhouse has a very similar theme to Nine Circles. Very, very red, either hell-themed or hell-themed adjacent. The drops are both intense wave sections with high-energy music, which directly follow much slower, easier gameplay. And in both cases, this energy doesn't die down until right before the end of the level, which is a much easier cube section. Do you see where I'm coming from? There's obviously a lot of inspiration here, even if it wasn't intentional. Oh yeah, and have I mentioned how difficult Slaughterhouse is? It's number two on the list at the time of writing, even topping levels such as Silent Club Step, Abyss of Darkness, and Sockman Circles. Slaughterhouse only has five circles. Slaughterhouse only has five victors, despite it having been verified nearly a year ago. The difficulty is just ridiculous. So sure, Slaughterhouse has a lot of similarities to Nine Circles. So what, that doesn't make it a Nine Circles level, let alone the best one. I mean, what even makes a Nine Circles level what it is? Well, it's pretty subjective, but there are a few key points. A Nine Circles level has to get most of its difficulty from wave sections, and wave should make up a majority of the gameplay. Check, Slaughterhouse is like the hardest wave level there is, besides maybe VSC. 
Next, a Nine Circles level should be incredibly influential, at least to remain in the spirit of the original. That's definitely a check as well, there's more remakes than Victors of Slaughterhouse, and it isn't even close. We probably haven't even seen the extent of these remakes. Five years from now, imagine what things will look like. Next, it has to have a flashy effect of some sort. Well, okay, maybe Slaughterhouse falls short here. It definitely doesn't look like Nine Circles does. However, the more intense sections of the level do have a lot of pulsing, especially in Dr. Kieber's section. Maybe it isn't the same as NC, but I think an argument could be made that it feels this requirement. So, is Slaughterhouse a Nine Circles level? I can see why a lot of people would believe the answer is no, but you can't really argue that it fills a lot of the criteria. But even aside from the specifics of whether or not the level is flashy enough, I think it's really important to compare the legacy that these levels have. Both of these levels are hugely important to the history of Geometry Dash, that much cannot be denied. Nine Circles created the biggest trend the creating community has ever seen, and Slaughterhouse created new heights for just how difficult extreme demons could become. It may not perfectly fit the definition of a Nine Circles level, but if it does, it does it the best.